with digital curators. I'm sure I'll get to know everybody over the course of the next couple of days. Um, and you can learn about what that role is at the library as well. But um, just first off, a big thank you. This is gonna be a very short presentation because I just want to pull out some of the things that came out of the survey, but it's not a very, sci now for my statistics course, I know, it's not a very scientific um, result. Um, but there are some general trends from the people who had um, supplied information to the survey beforehand. So the survey and my slides are up um, on Google. Don't worry about this link, we'll send it around later. Um, so read through over the next couple of days. And the whole purpose was to help us get to know you guys better, plan the, um, the program, and have a place for, where you guys can you know, locate people that you might want to get in touch with on a particular topic. Um, so we got 40 total responses, including our own, which was quite last minute, so don't feel bad. <laughs> um, and we're open to many more. Some you can see might be duplicative, but I wasn't sure, um, because you can also have institutions that might have many different labs in different areas. So I, I didn't want to normalize the information too much without having facts. But essentially, this is where everybody um, is coming from who filled in the survey. Um, so we had a question around when was your lab born, and so this is useful in that if you want to know, you know, who are the old stalwarts who can have lots of war stories to tell you, we're in there as well. Um, and so these are kind of of the the group. I hope everybody's here to fill in the survey, but um, these are kind of the earliest labs in the bunch. Then we have um, somewhat recent labs that have come online. Um, and again, these slides, if you want to consult them later, you can. Um, and then we've got some newbies, the new kids on the block. So some of these are either started this year or, um, or are starting very shortly um, or in 2020, and some that are just imagining they might want to do this. So again, this is just based on what was provided. At, you know, take it with a grain of salt. People might have filled the survey in late at night, and you know, maybe it's not correct information, um, but we'll talk about that at the end. Maybe there's an opportunity to re-go back in and, and make it more um, accurate. Yeah. So the mission and purpose statements of the lab, everybody's kind of on the same, you know, this is your text analysis tool. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, whatever, work loud, work loud. Um, but I did think it was funny, you know, it's new knowledge, tools, libraries, good, you know, research, digital collections. So the things you might, um, might want to expect in there. But I think give everybody submissions and purposes a real read through and you'll find some good inspiration in there. Because it really isn't just limited to this, these very simple topics. Um, this is what we've been very much interested in, understanding how library labs are funded. Um, a lot of us are directly funded by the institutions. Um, some are part um, funded and some are externally funded. Um, not a whole lot of us are in the income generation um, game, which means you know charging for services or putting on you know uh, fees for access to things that sort of thing. So that might be something that we unpick during the course of the, the couple of days. And then other my question. Uh, so, who does your lab primarily aim to serve? Again, of the people who responded, it tended to be academic researchers, um, staff and colleagues, so there is a real element there of helping um, staff within your institution. Um, general public in the community was pretty high up there, um, and creative professionals. Business and industry are missing out, looks like. Um, and then what activities does your lab typically undertake? Um, facilitating access to data and digital collections, pretty obvious, but that's at the top. Um, creating new data sets and digital collections, so that was good. A lot of people were saying they were getting involved in the creation of these, these collections that um, people using the lab might, might want to be accessing. And providing training, public engagement was very high. Um, and providing an innovation space for the parent organization. Again, you'll see people's um, individual responses. Is if you didn't take the survey, you might not know. There, a lot of these questions say, "Could you please elaborate?" So there will be more text around that. 
Um, pretty 50-50 split. So do you have a physical space and do you not? I was very surprised by that, actually. So um, that will be certainly something that we're going to talk about and unpick um, in some of the sessions. Uh, does your lab facilitate access to restricted digital collections? Quite a few said no. And again, that's um, so restricted could be you know, copyright issues. Um, so again, some people are, and so we want to learn how are you doing that. So some folks are further along the way, they have some really nice APIs going, and others of um, the respondents are not even close to it. So um, a lot of us are in the middle. We have, like, a computer that someone can come into the library and look at the stuff. I think pretty much everybody, if you counted that as yes or no. <laughs> um, do you facilitate access to large data sets? Same thing. Oh, sorry, that's the, the API question. So um, a lot of people were using APIs to, to allow content to be delivered. Um, the large data sets and um, Yes, and finally, sorry, I'm whizzing through this because most I want to save time for the other presentations. And also, all of this stuff is in the survey, and also the whole two days is about this. So we're going to be really sharing and um, talking this, talking about this stuff. So a lot of you had shared flag, flagship projects and key initiatives in there. So take a look at that to get some inspiration. But also, we have made lots of room in the program for people to talk about their experience in um, some of the breakout sessions for some of the talks. So you'll get a good range, a good um, feeling of what people are working on um, in their labs. And uh, again, with structures. So some folks have provided their structure charts. So we also have sessions that we'll be talking about you know, how, who is in your lab. And I would say that there are not many of us. <laughs> we are greatly understaffed across the board. <laughs> that was the key message. <laughs> so um, that's probably not a big surprise. Uh, yes, so let me just follow up with. So there are questions about where should we take the survey from here. So I can reopen it um, for editing for people who didn't have the time and the headspace. And now you're here, and so you probably do want to share. Um, and might be able to find some time for it. So I think I will just go ahead and do that. Um, we want to talk about the, um, whether or not this might be a useful start for a proper report. And this could be something we also talk about um, on Friday's wrap-up session. There will be kind of a talk about what are we doing here now? What are our next steps now that we kind of have you know, the bones of the network going and we kind of have some information about how we're approaching things. Do we want to, you know, to put this into a paper? What do we want to do with this information? How do we want to share it to keep it, make it even more useful than just a networking um, uh, communication tool? So, um, could you look at say, yeah, I've, I've put the data into the Google Drive. Great, yep. great. And there's, so there's a Google Drive, I know, and it has, um, I think you have to request access, but somebody is processing. Me. Those, okay. <laughs> um, so you should get access shortly. Um, uh, and yes, yeah, so that's it. I don't, I think we won't do questions right now, because we'll just get on with the program, but um, we'll give you access to that, and you can have a look, and I'll just meet you guys after the program. Thanks. <laughs>